Hey guys! Today has been a busy day, and I filmed this book review outside today, didn't like it, and then I just ended up just deleting it because it wasn't, I didn't, I'm getting tongue-tied today. It didn't feel to me like a normal book review, and so, anyways, oh, quick announcement. There will not be a video tomorrow. I will be spending conference weekend with my family, and conference weekend is where the members of the church get to hear uplifting messages from the leaders of the church. And to me, it's where I get to find answers to some of my questions that I have. Anyways, let's get started with today's. Today's book is Smoke Screen by Tracy Hunter Abramson. And this is book five. And can we, I just tell you, first off, I love how they turn the O into this thing of smoke, like it's on fire. Um, but this book, I was at first, when I first picked it up, I was like, huh, what's the, if it's called smoke screen, what's the computer chip in the background for? And you find out why in the book, I guess it pays to read. And this is one that I did read the last chapter on, and I wish I wouldn't have because it kind of killed the book for me as I got into the more active parts of the book. I really loved, um, in this one, I think this is the one with the most character development in there, where you've got this couple who she was away because he, some of them say he broke her heart. Yeah, the man who broke her heart. And he, so she's off, and she's an artist and off doing paintings around the world. He is here and he has a secret from his past that, well, it's not much of a secret, but it's something that affects him, but he doesn't let those around him see how it affects him. And I love, like I said, I love the character development. I love the adventure in here. And I love the mystery. And I love how she makes you think, oh, it's this person that's doing this against the, and she has, I don't think it's a terrorist group, I think it's a, uh, just a group that does, uh, has a plot against something, I can't remember, but I know it has to hit, they've got the components that they need, that they sent them, they send the components for this device in a, in canvas, painting canvases, and then the last one is in paintings, and she ends up painting something and giving it away to someone. And then the person who is doing it is someone who, who you didn't think of in the first place, who you thought, oh, they're such a nice person. And then all of a sudden you're, oh. Hmm. Um, I feel in these books here, the book by Tracy Hunter Abramson for her Saint Squad series, that it is important to look for the details in there and pay attention to the details about the event and to focus on incidences that happen and try and I think, think about them a little maybe. Um, I feel like this one put me more into thought about things than anything and kept me going. Um, I like how it says, where is it? Right here, it says on the back, it's Taylor and Quinn are the two main characters. It says, but Taylor can't seem to hide from trouble. When Taylor seeks safety with her family in Virginia Beach, a series of threats puts her on high alert and puts Quinn into protective mode. I like that. Um, I know it's a little bit romancy, but I like how it's worded and how she she comes back and meet, ends up meeting with the guy. Um, I feel like I rambled this. It's not put together, but 
that is today's book review. For some reason today, my thoughts have been very helter-skelter. I have not been able to get a clear sentence out to people, and I kind of feel like I've been tongue-tied today. I just haven't been myself today for some weird reason or other. I don't know, but I hope this made sense to you guys, and I don't know, we'll go from there. I have one more book that I have previously read that is up for next week's book review and then after that so I guess I need to pick it up in the week and do some reading this is the set minus two books and then or I guess I'll be starting videos on my or doing books on my Kindle and going into there or I'm thinking about going when I visit my family and doing um, book reviews on my childhood books and finding some of those this weekend. So, oh, excuse me. So, we'll see how this goes and we'll see you guys on Monday. Bye, guys.